what is up everybody welcome to the channel thanks for tuning in for another review this time taking a look at the relatively new Mezco 112 Rumble Society Atticus Doom it's a completely original figure by Mezco Toys as I have just reviewed the Doc Nocturnal it's the character there and this is the version of the Sorcerer Supreme Atticus Doom and it comes with a comic book which is a very nice touch and here is a quick look at the box which is very classy. There you got your legals on the back. Rumble Society. Well, yeah, let's take a quick look at this comic and then I will crack this open and we can take a closer look at Doom. Take a quick look at the comic and again, I, I love it when we get free stuff. So awesome to have a comic book. Reminds me of Marvel Legends back in the days. Over I mean, there you got Captain Nemo, which is another figure I'm yet to check out. And a cool little coloured comic book for a change. And I think it's supposed to be, from what I've heard, yeah, it's a uh, origin story there of Atticus Doom, which I don't want to spoil too much for you. You can check it out yourself on this Doc Nocturnal. Such a dope design. And I love that figure. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have a bit of a read of this one later. I'm going to crack this open so we can review Atticus Doom. So straight out of the box, we have... A nice little illustration there of Atticus Doom. Opening this little insert up down here, we have our Mezco message. Comes with most of their figures. And here we have Atticus Doom inside his plastic prison. And here we have Atticus Doom out of the packaging. And I have to say, this figure is impressive. It sounded like a bit of a broken record between this and Doc Nocturnal, but I mean it, guys. This, these figures are amazing. We've got some really cool details here. We've got a little eyeball here behind the hand. Um, and this is one of the things in particular that I think is quite cool. So we've got his little turban. And on the back of his head, an exposed brain and eyeball. We've got a nice little overcoat. Uh, it does open up here. We've got bendy wires for the tag. Nice little inner suit, scarf. I love the threading on the jumper, the sweatshirt. Yeah, so he's an occult detective type Constantine uh, mixed with Doctor Strange. But obviously for the Rumble Society that has gained his powers from Cthulhu, the ancient demon that lives in the depths of the waters. Pretty cool concept. And um, yeah, I'm excited to check the rest of this figure out. Anyways, let's take a look at the accessories, which there are plenty. And then we can check out Atticus Doom in more detail. Stay tuned. Just taking a close look at the accessories that come with Atticus Doom. We have the Cthulhu interchangeable head. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce Cthulhu. I could be butchering it completely, but uh, this is very nice, cool detail. Super excited to get this figure, pretty much because of this head sculpt of or some, and a bit of a Lovecraftian mood when this guy came out, so it just really uh, won me over to see this old squid-headed creep. And we do have a lobster hand here, which I think is cool. We do have the Medusa hand, so this allows him to stop time, freeze time, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and we've got a bunch of different hands here in the eye on the back of it. And we do have one here that's obviously made for some sort of power effect. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'll find out. Here we've got one of his books. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to open, but I'm not able to get it to open with one hand. But um pretty cool details on this thing here too. And I was able to get the book open, and there is pages in here. So look at the detail. I mean, this again, these are in 112, so this is what I would expect from something like Hot Toys, you know, 1 6 scale. There's fully detailed pages within this book. Creepy little spells and monsters and creatures and such. So, very cool. Here we've got a staff, this walking stick. Yeah, that's sick. It looks worn. It's all these little rooms and uh, random mystic occult symbols all over it. And then we've got some little fire effects here. And I can't remember where these are supposed to go. And some extra other power effects. And then we've got some of the spells that you're able to pop on his hands. This one here is already pretty much ready to go. Oh, very cool. And we got some more squid arms that can pop out of them. So yeah, very unique looking figure. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail with these because these have been reviewed quite a lot already. 
Uh, I just want to give some of my thoughts over it. Yeah. And here we have Atticus Doom embracing his full inner Squidward. <laughs> yeah, this is cool, man. Extremely long tentacle here. A little bit impractical. Obviously, that's like a stabbing one. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I just think, look at the barnacles all over the tentacles there. It's just such great details. He looks fully evil. Yeah. Very cool. Very impressed. This is a very nice figure. Yeah, a lot of different options there to display him with, so. Yeah, if you get this, you're gonna be one happy chappy. That's for sure. So let's take a close look at the articulation. We have a head on a ball joint here, which is pretty unrestricted. It's nice, it goes full 360. It can tilt up that much. It's not the highest, and down that low. We have arms that can pop out quite nicely. Pretty unrestricted there by the overcoat. We do have double jointed elbows and swivels in the wrist. And there is some up and down tilt there too, which is very nice. We have, again, similar to Doc Knock, limited torso articulation there. That might be because of the clothing, uh, which I don't think you're able to remove that part. So yeah, he's not most articulated in the torso area there. Uh, same with the waist but the legs can pop out this far. They can move out quite nicely. And we do have a double joint there in the knees and much better uh, ankle pivot there and, and boot and foot articulation. So he's not too bad, actually. Um, better than I thought. And just taking a closer look here at some of the spells and the flame effects that can go into his eyes. I just think this looks dope, man. And I've just got the effect there on the arm. Not too sure if that's how you're supposed to do it. I couldn't see any other way to attach the magical pieces, but from this angle, it looks cool. And then obviously you can swap this out. There's bigger ones, smaller ones. I just thought that was quite a nice touch there. And then obviously you got the flame effects within the eyes. Such a cool figure. All right, bring it in for some final thoughts. And yeah, you can probably already tell this is a truly awesome figure and highly recommend uh, grabbing this one. I know there is a new version. I think that Mezco just put it up for pre-order and maybe it's for release as well. It's a green version, um, so have a Google. But yeah, I love it. You know, it's a, a really different, unique figure and part of the occult. There seems to be some other figures coming forward from the similar line. I think there's like a Bartholomew, it's a goat looking demon guy and a few others, so he's obviously the main protagonist of that storyline. Uh, Atticus Doomers, so well worth grabbing either version, anyone that you can. Um, and yeah, you will not be disappointed. I just love the details, just the design, just the little random bits like the turban that can pop off and, and reveal an eye, you know, and then the brain. It's just really weird and, um, and different and unique and will look awesome displayed alongside the other Mezco figures or Rumble Society, any of your supernatural figures, you know, you name it, it's um, it's a really cool piece. So yeah, that's pretty much it from me guys. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Again, like and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's it from me. I'll leave it there. Hope you all had a good New Year's. Peace out, take care.